Good morning, it's your boy Thrifty Mitch Shifty, Huntsman Toy Finder, aka the Yorkshire Picker, and we're gonna do some hunting, see what we can find. Let's go see my friend here. Good morning. Hello. You alright? Yeah, yeah. You ain't up bad. You've been doing some digging? A bit, yeah. Out new we are. Out new that looks of age. I'll get some bobs. Hi. Dollies, Josh, you want a dolly? Oh He's alright for dollies, does Josh? Dollies, he likes them. He's all, yeah, well, he likes them sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. I like them today. <laughs> I'll bob back and see you shortly. Oh, all right. Morning. How are you doing, my friend? Are you alright? You got all interesting for us? Trying. Uh, I'm not big on trying. What's that there? Yeah, and, uh, game. LCD game. Ooh, what do you want on that? Let's take that. Take a punt on that. Yeah, I'm not big on railway stuff. It's a bit beyond my. It's, I've no expertise in it at all. Do you know what I mean? I know it can be good. But I know it can be a massive waste of time as well. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit of both. How you up, Josh? Yeah. <laughs> knife. He's got a knife. That's <laughs> a knife. That's a knife. Knife. Knife for you there. Knife. No, you are not having a knife. I didn't ask for it. <laughs> Chef, you up, bruv. Spider Man, the amazing Spider Man. So try it. Batteries wise. I'm really losing Spider-Man. No, it's not turning on, but I'll try that. I don't get any batteries. I think it's the smaller batteries, you know, the um, Yeah. Which I don't know. Like watch ones. Uh no, yeah, it won't be like watch um, ones, will it? The bigger ones. Triple A, triple yeah. A. Triple A. Oh you've got no cheese, mate. So I've got a five. No. No? I've got no cheese if I've got the bigger though. Well, just, I'll come back around when you. I know. You're probably good. Well, three quid in credit. <laughs> Might find some stuff anyway, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When you're unpacking, if you think there's out that yeah. might, might be my sort of fancy, give us a shoot. A shoot. Which one? All of them. All of them? Have you been watching them? Yeah. Yeah, we're clocking up them watch hours. Yeah. Ooh. These for you, Joshy. Hugh Oh, what are they? Books? I thought yeah. they were bit cards. You are made ten set of cards and I've got one. Yu Ultimate Guide. 99p? 99p in the UK. So that means they're quite old. How much are they? I've got 25 on the set. 25 on the set. Yeah, I think it's about on money at that, but. Thank you for letting me have a look. I'm all right, I'll pass, thank you. Onwards and upwards. What's in that there box there, Josh? Lots and lots of different playing cards. A fish card game. All sorts in here. James Bond, shout out Arcade. Poker face. Someone had a serious playing card addiction, didn't they? Any lurid ones, yep, there's lurid ones. <laughs> All male nudes. <laughs> All male nudes. Playing cards. Why? I don't know why. You wanna look at them? No. Right there. <laughs> Stuff like that can actually be decent, you know. Um, strangely. Uh, I don't know about male nude ones, but I know some new playing card sets are uh, very sought after, yeah? Strangely. There's a collector's market for it. I suppose there's a collector's market for everything, but our kid's gonna kill me if I don't buy him some of these, look. Excuse me? How much are your playing card sets? Pound a pack, bud. Pound a pack? Hold my light, please, Josh. I'll get a few for our kid. Get rid of you, gear. Might get those male nudes as well, you know? I think I will. <laughs> You're not surprised. Why are you not surprised by that? Um, Motor Racing Legends, made in Australia. 2011, that's not even old, it looked old. Where are my male nudes gone? I've lost my male nudes, Josh. 
No. Old made genuine retro games. Look at you diving in looking for male nudes now. <laughs> Sexy and Royal, same one. No, it's a different one. Our kid's gonna owe me some pennies. That one's not sealed. I'll pass on that one. I'm getting sealed ones. Where's my male nudes? I want my male nude playing cards. I don't know where I put them down. Are they near somewhere? They're hiding from me. Preserving the decency. Wait, oh, they're there, look. Get them. Male nudes. Is there any female nudes? <laughs> Millennium. Batman Part 2 Collector's Edition playing cards. Right, I'm bored of looking through playing cards now. Top trumps. London souvenir ones. No, I think I'm done. No, I'm done. Just get on band ones. And mail nodes. What's this? Go go Power Rangers! I believe. Have you? Can you have a look for us or? Yeah, no worries. No worries. Oh, other than Power Rangers, out other action figure wise. Uh, there might be a few bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. Bobs and bits. Bobs and bits. We don't mind bobs and bits. Bits and bobs. Ooh. Tall star patch. Ice speed. Found choo choo trains, Josh. Choo choo trains. Uh, that gun's hard. Come on. And these are your prices that are on them? Uh, I'm not getting a bit off, but it's going to have to be close to that. Right. Uh, I don't even know about that one. 995 Megazord. Guns there, Josh. Guns don't kill people. Rappers do. Rappers kill people. Guns don't kill people. Rappers do, yeah. Got a looking chain. Guns don't kill people. Rappers do. I'm going to be politician and they tell you it's true. Is that a different bag? Yeah. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Toilet. You never know. I'll take me, me Wimpoon armadillo thing. How much is the Star Wars trilogy? Uh, pound one. Pound? Yeah. Uh, discs in there, do you know? No idea. I'll be uh, have a look. I'll have to have a look at that. There's a five then. I've got three playing decks. Yeah. Josh, stick as I was playing cards in my backpack, please. And the armadillo guy. I don't even know who he is. He's just, I recognise. You can tell by... It's one of bad is into his... Yeah, you can tell by poor quality with yeah. Power Ranger figures. The plastic on the bodies is always really thin. You just know as soon as you pick them up that they're Power Rangers. Power Rangers. Okay. Is that for a quid if you want? I don't recognise that guy. Star Wars. Star Wars. Lucky Rabbit's foot, yeah, don't buy them. <laughs> they're not lucky. Not for Rabbit anyway. Rabbit foots are not lucky for rabbits. Yeah, it's, the discs are in there, mate, so thank you for that. Yeah, Must something to watch. Chuck us that in backpack, please, Josh. All right, all right, all right. Death trap. Death trap toy. <laughs> Neck breaker. Ankle breaker. Uh, I think we had one at my nan's house, yeah, that used to belong to my mum and her sister when they were kids. I remember trying to figure out how you're supposed to do it and falling. Falling and failing. The thing is, 
the mix bag in it. I've got broken off wheel. So, uh, what is his name? What's dinosaur's name? Grimlock. Grimlock. I knew that. Another dinosaur. What's uh, the Triceratops called? I don't know any of this. Snarl? Snarl. I think it's Snarl. How much you got in Transformer bits? Ten of a lot. Ten of a lot? Yeah, don't want to take a punt at that. Yeah. Oh, well, you owe me two quid. <laughs> oh, is it three? Three. It was three, I'm three quid in credit. Yeah, so it's seven quid. We've got a ten. Yeah, we've got three quid now. <laughs> I never sold that remote control car, I've still, I've still got that. Do you know the die cast I got off you? I don't know if it was the same time. And it was right confusing because you kept saying it's 1999 and I was going, no, it's 1974 that it were made. And you, but you were trying to tell me it's from space 1999. That, that die cast I sold for, I think, 70 or 80 quid. So I need to give you some money now. No. No, yeah, right. I do. Yeah, I do. It's my own fault for putting stuff on YouTube. No, yeah. he didn't tell us what uh, what you'd actually. Oh, did he not? Oh well, I've just shot myself in the foot there. I've seen you on the telly. I said, on what? He says, oh, have you not seen the lad that goes around? Uh, I'm thinking, no, I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> then it, it just clicked. It clicked. Yeah. Going down rougher. And I'm thinking, Yorkshire. Right, I know what you're on about. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, do that then. My sword! I forgot my sword! Oh, I meant to right. show you my sword and I oh, forgot yeah. it. That's going back a bit. Uh, <laughs> I know, it's because I was just editing the video the other day and when I edited the video I thought, remember to bring him your bayonet to show him. And I, I bloody I forgot. I don't, I don't come every week, I mean. No, you said. Santa Claus bottle opener, that's cool. Is that made by Saga Farm? Saga Farm. How much is your Santa Claus bottle opener? Quid. Quid. I'm gonna buy that just because it's. It's, old, it's, it's an old one. It looks to have some age to it. Everything else was 50 pence, I think. I buy it. So it's got. Looks like it's got some age to it, and it's. Uh, it has, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Next time, I'll I'll try and remember my. Uh, what was it? My bayonet. Old bayonet, you said. Yeah, eight, 1890 something, I think it is. Yeah. Bayonet. You know what's a bit like if it's. Uh, if it's kosher. Yeah. If it's legit. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Tell it up. Stop saying tell it up is. I get stuck inside my head again. Vintage turtle lunch. Autographs. Who's that chap there? Is he Dr. Poo? Josh. It's his Dr. Poo. It's one of the Dapo ones, isn't it? How much is that? How much? A couple of quid. This is £2 for you, Dr. Poo. Thank you. Dr. Poo. Dr. Poo. Dr. Poo. Dr. Poo. What is? 2007? Yeah. It's the year you were born? Yeah. Damn, boy, you young. Look, it's Megatron. Hey up. That's what's its face. I want that. I want that one. I want that one. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, well, it's your birthday, Manny. What are you going to call it then? Thumper. Which one are you looking for? That one. Black one. No. Orange one. Orange one. Can't remember his name. It's like the biggest, the biggest Transformer. What's his name? Squirtle. It's not Squirtle. The trainer can hear be screaming at me now. We was watching. You know who it is. Sunco. Transformer, not Transformer. Transformer. It's Megatron. 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 No, that is Megatron. Yeah. It's not Megatron. Fake Megatron would be Megatron. Ah, oh, so this is real Megatron. No, that's actually Megatron. I want that big guy. That's what she said. Or he said. I can't even remember his name, but that orange guy. Timmy. Oh, I don't know his name, but I know what you mean. Uh, Come on, I'll, I'll pass it on. You I got it, I got it. He's the big planet transformer. Oh, what's he called? Big oh, he's, Daddy. Should have a projectile for his thing there, shouldn't he? His name, Big Daddy. And possibly got bits missing there as well. Yeah. I think he's got bits missing. I'm going to get him anyway. You want your bag? Do it. Please. Oh, not me. Not talking to me. 
Lisa, it's your birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Lisa. <laughs> I feel like you might be missing a couple of bits, you don't know if you had bits ki that's kicking around. Kill me, lad. Like there might be something that goes in his chest there yeah, and, and on there as well. Probably. I'll take him for a fiver, if not, Kenny can have him. Let's fold your legs under. Alright, oh, okay, expert transformer. No, no, no. I, I didn't know you were good at transforming. No, I just happened to know that fault. But it's easy to take care. Alright. Uh, <laughs> you got a bag, lad? Uh, please, can do. Lisa, it's your birthday. There you go, mate. I thank you. Oops. There you go. Have you got it? Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Um, if I'm not good, Josh. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, thanks bro. Not good. There's some old but gold Batman. Old but gold. Oh, it was some brekkie. What are these? Storybooks. Story books. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. I'm alright, I'll pass. I just thought it looked interesting. Naffy. Naffy. Naffy is a very, very good thing. Damn busters. Oh, look at them. Old, old, appearing old marbles. You can't get them now, can you? You know what I mean? Not them big ones, you just can't get them. They might be old then. Republic of China. How much are they a pound a pack? Yeah, they must be 50 or up. Well, they must be 30. I must have had them 30 of myself each. I've had them a long time. I didn't know we had them. We've just been clearing out of these. Have you got any more? What? Yeah, there's a bag full here. I found them here. There's some more. There they are. Can you do his own bag? I do a bit less, but not a lot. You can't get them, as I said. I don't know how many packages are these. Uh, you feel. But I know you can't. Uh, no, just a pound, please. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. So how many was the total? What? Twenty odd. More than more than that, though. Well, it's a lot, lot of loose ones than that. I'm it's not easy. fussed about loose ones, to be honest. It's no, just more the. No, but they're here. But they're here. They're all the exact same packet. Yeah, they're all here. Look, they're all the same. Look. Yeah. They're all that here. Yeah, I'll take 20 quid for a lot and there's more that's than what I gonna, That's what I was going to offer to be honest, yeah, that's well, what I was going to suggest. Them in, take 20 quid right, we'll do that then. Right, then. If they had a brand name on them, you know like a famous toy maker, oh, yeah. they'd be a lot easier to look up. I but know, as they are, I'm just going to have to uh, yeah, anyway, invent a yeah. price as it were. Right, there you go. But take a punt at 20 bish. Right. Nice one. Oh, Josh, okay. job for you there. there you Try not to be too rough with them because they might <laughs> split out of packaging quite there easily. Sure Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll let you know how I get on. You're here all the time, aren't you? All right, mate. Right, come on. Oh, dear. Load up rings. Load up rings. there? Super models. Exercise bike. Let's get physical. It will, won't it? I wanna get physical. PMS UK. Two quid. Two quid. Papa doll. Musical exercise bike. <laughs> Why am I buying that? You're a bad influence, Josh. Go on, I'll buy it. I have no idea why. <laughs> Just kind of cool. Yeah, you like your Barbie. I love my Barbie dolls, Josh. I love a good Barbie doll. You're Should have a carry doll. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Why? For being cheeky, that means you have to carry the doll now. I'm lucky, kid. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Yeah, if you didn't know that in advance, you'd have said, don't buy the doll, don't buy the doll. It's for dropping my marbles. You've got to carry the doll now. Oh, now you're just coming up with reasons. I'm just coming up with reasons, yeah. yeah. Pulling them out of your beard. Pulling reasons out my beard. For sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Definitely. Dun, dun, dun. Morning. Morning, are you all right, mate? Hey, you. How much are your corgi wagons? I've got a fiver on each, but if you were interested in them all, I'd do them for 16. I was just going to the coke one. 
The coke? Yeah. I'll oh. do it for four quid if you want. Oh, what? Yeah, I called it. And they, they, they didn't pop the boxes. Always Coca Cola. If you finish it, I'll do, I'll do them. I'll do what? Do what for fifteen quid? What about these three? You said four on each, so that's twelve. Uh, five on each, didn't you? So it's fifteen. I'll do. Would you ten put three? Oh no, I can't do no. ten put three. I'll go. I'll go to uh, twelve pound put three. Yeah, go on. I'll do that. I didn't even bring my bag. You don't have a plastic bag kicking about here. Well, as soon as you're spending, spending twelve pounds. Yeah, <laughs> get a free bag as well. Well, it's when people people walk past you and ask you for the bag. Oh, for free? Yeah. I know, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I've got ten pound on that, mate. That's twelve on here now. You can put your doll in that bag as well, Josh. It's not my doll. Thank you. Yeah. It's your doll, isn't it? No, it's yours. You said to buy it. You yeah, said I want that dolly. Funny. You said I want that dolly. I'm no. sure you did. All right. I'm mistaken. I you could have sworn. You might need a hearing aid. I could have sworn, you said. No. Cheers, thank, thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Right Hello. Vantage Star Wars. Yeah. How's it going? Not too bad, mate. You got some spicy stuff. Has anyone bought any yet? They have. They've We've already the bought some. Morning, yeah. Oh, buggery. <laughs> I think we're here dead early. I didn't even get them out of the car. I said, I could do them all if you're interested. They are, they've already been through them, haven't they? Not, yeah, not, I, not to be disrespectful, no, but they're, they all, yeah. they're all beaters, them, pretty much. There's a couple of decent ones like that. Yeah. It's pegs on. Yeah, but I think it's, it's missing bottom bit. It's meant to have a bottom bit on there. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. What, what best one that you sell this morning? Are you a collector yourself? I am. I've got first twelve. I started on all the rest. I thought, right. uh, I'm not. I'm not going to bother. So that's why I'm selling all them. I say I've got first twelve, and they're a decent set. First twelve. But... Two is clean, isn't it? Yeah, tight. Two is nice. Mm -hmm. I don't get into alt variants too much. No. No. There's a lot of them in there. Week, there's a lot. There's a lot of them in there where it, it, you know, just the just the, the country of origin, yeah. the queue. Shout out Dave Shorter though. How much is that for? I will do him for three quid. My, my guy Dave Shorter collects them all. He's got this thing called all the Ak bars. He actually right, right, gets right. asked to uh, like make appearances now yeah, at, yeah. at um, comic cons and stuff because yeah, yeah, yeah. he's got thousands upon thousands yeah, yeah, yeah. of the same figure. Yeah, I'll see, Strange I'll do obsession in it. He does two? 2.50. 250 on that bar. There you go. Will they fit in an envelope? He will have to turn his head to the side, won't he? Bang him at poster, Dave. Here nice we go. one, buddy. Nice one, no worries. Thank you. It's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trap, Josh. It's a trap. And just like that, we are back inside the treasure trove. What is happening, my dudes? It's your boy, the Oxy Picker. We're going to go through all the stuff that we found today. But before we do, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you've not yet already. And maybe give the video a little like, a little thumbs up down there. Please, sir, can I have some more? Please, sir. I want some. <laughs> Joking aside, I really do appreciate all the watches, all the views, all the subscriptions that are going on lately. The channel is blowing up at a tremendous rate and I'm just very, very flattered and very thankful to you guys for being a part of that. So let's look at what we found today. Now I am becoming a bit of a sucker for buying gifts. I can't help it. It's just in my nature. And shout out to Dave Shorter. I got you a little Admiral Akbar. It's a trap! And that will be going in the post to Dave Shorter. He's on a mission. He's on a mission to collect every single one of the Akbar figures that was ever produced. So there's one for the pile, Dave. Let's get through the gifts. Eh? I also bought some Casino Royale playing card decks for my bro. Original price £1.25. And uh, got in this little up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Steady on. Steady on, lad. <laughs> this is not for my brother. But I got these uh, male nudes by Hollywood <laughs> playing cards. I just, I looked at them and I thought they're pretty cool. It'll be pretty fun to show you guys on a video. And at the same time, I also know that there is definitely a collector's market for erotica, whether it be male or female erotica. And they, they turned out to be, they're a deep, oh, he's actually got his thing out there. <laughs> he's, he's actually got his little fella out there, not covered up or anything. Get back in that box, mate. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've lost my train of thought now. Yeah, I wish that I'd gone through the box some more and looked up. 
look through stuff to see stuff looking now. I wish I'd look for some more of these because it looked like someone's collection of playing cards. Um, all sorts of different themes. Am I blushing? I might be blushing. Yo, Jack. Hi. Hey, Jeffrey. Peter Griffin has a mustache. No way. Way. Oh. I know. <laughs> Yo, Jack of Hearts. <laughs> yeah. There might have been similar themed ones. <laughs> what is it getting on here? Is it just me? There might have been similar themed ones in the pile, in the box. And I probably should have looked them up because this... Whoa. <laughs> I just took a dark turn there. Guys tied up. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh not suitable for kids. Definitely labeling this one not suitable for kids. <laughs> oh, it's dead here on there. Seeing his cucumber again. Yeah, what are I saying? Whew, it's going to take some editing this. Around £20 value for this deck of cards. So if there'd have been some similar, similarly themed erotica playing cards, then I should have grabbed them up. Because that's what I'm trying to get out. Not that. I'm not trying to get that out. I'm trying to get this that word out. Good value in erotica. Bolo. <laughs> Be on the lookout. <laughs> Just makes me wonder what these guys are doing with themselves nowadays. I don't know how old this is. It looks to be pretty old. 70s. Maybe 80s. No, 70s, I would say. What are they doing now? I would not want to hazard a guess. I'll be honest with you. Do you have one more look at one more of them? <laughs> Just for the laugh. What's this guy doing? I see that's not a bad one. He looks like he's just coming to fix your car. He's just at local garage fixing your car. Oh, no. <laughs> this video is going to get banned if I leave that bit in. Moving on. A lot to get through. Still a lot to get through. Moving on. Right, I've been for a cold shower. Let's get back into it. <laughs> we got some corgis. Don't know why. Probably not a great value. Uh, the guy was nice to talk to. I ended up buying his corgis. Well, he started telling the story that I had to edit out, actually. Let's just say he was a bit old school. Bigoted opinions. <laughs> I have to get edited out. But we've got the BP tanker there. BP tanker. Christmas is coming. Holidays are coming. Holidays are coming. Coca-Cola wagon. I think these are from the late 80s or early 90s. Oh, 1985. This one's 1985. Upside down corgi. This should be the Lynx, is it? Yeah, Lynx. Lynx courier service. Which I don't think it's going anymore. I do remember seeing those trucks back in the day. When I was a kid, I was a wee bairn. I think I paid £4 each, £12 for the three. Uh, probably be a return. I don't think it'll be massive though. I'm getting flashbacks. Flashbacks of uh, those playing cards still. I've seen some things, man, and some stuff. I wouldn't recommend it. No, Doctor Who bad guy. Don't know his name. Don't think there's any great value to him. I thought he was older than he is. He's not a Dalek, is he? No, he's definitely not a Dalek. Looks like an armadillo. Armadillo guy. I likes armadillos. <laughs> Smooth on the inside, yeah. crunchy on the outside. Armadillos. What else did we get? My friendly Geordie friend, friendly Geordie friend, it was this uh, amazing Spider-Man and he informed me that he's been watching, no he's not, his friend's been watching the channel. His friend said to him, I've seen you on TV, and he meant YouTube, but yeah. Which then led to me giving him some money because I remembered the diecast, you know, the Space 1999 diecast that we got from him for a few pounds. I gave him a little bonus. It was the first time I'd seen him since I sold it, I think, anyway, to be honest. Wasn't that I was trying to get one over on him, just not seeing him. I had a little bit of a hankering recently to watch Star Wars, the original Star Wars, and realised I didn't have them on DVD, which was strange. I think Lou B might have taken them to his house, actually. My son might have taken them to his house. But I managed to get the original trilogy on DVD. You want to buy DVD? For just £1. I'm not sure if the special edition, I think there's probably some extras on there, but yeah, fancy giving them a watch. So I'm going to do that. That's going to be my little treat to myself. Have a little watch. I say that, but I never end up watching any of the DVDs that I buy. I still not watch the Robocop ones, or the Bruce Lee ones, or the Super Ted box set. Still not watched any of them. One day, one day I'll sit down and, and let myself let myself relax and watch a DVD. One day. From the chap that I got the... <laughs> thinking about them again. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. <laughs> From the chap that I got the lurid playing cards from, I also got this Ratadillo, Rat Armadillo Power Rangers bad guy. I think for one pound. I think it's probably worth about ten. 
there's not a huge demand for Power Rangers bad guy figures, I don't think. I don't, I don't think I've ever found any of them that are particularly valuable, but it's super cool. <coughs> so cool, I just throw them away like that. Got a whole bunch of Transformers today from the friendly, the friendly Geordie chap, my guy. There might be beaters. I might have made a bad buy, but I'll take him down to Trainer Kenny's and have a look through them, let him pick out the ones that he wants to keep for himself. And then, yeah, and then see what else there is in there. See if there's any valuable ones. There's tons. I got tons from him for a tenner. Is that Grim Snarl? I think it's Grim Snarl. Um, that looks like Soundwave, but I'm not sure. It's not transformed. Trainer Kenny is kind of like a Transformer savant, I would say. He just looks at them and they seem to transform themselves. This guy, this guy. Um, what's the Triceratops called from Dinobots? Uh, Snarl? Is he Snarl or Sludge? He's one of them anyway. Another Dinobot. And another little Optimus. I am Optimus Prime. And I send this message to any surviving Autobots taking refuge among the stars. Little simplified ones. The simplified ones, I can, I can usually transform them. Oh, and that one looks like a bootleg. It's pretty cool though. Pachyocephalus... Pachyocephalus... <laughs> Pachyocephalosaurus. Pachyocephalosaurus? Yeah, that guy with bone sticking out of his head. The nutting dinosaur, but he does look like a bootleg one. I do love a bootleg. You know I love a bootleg. He's cool. Oh, from the regular toy seller guy, Brian. I want to say Brian. They keep having domestics in front of me, Brian and his wife. Where's my money? <laughs> You gonna give me my money? Where's my money, man? Ha! <laughs> but from Brian. <laughs> Keep it at home, Brian. That's why it's called a domestic. We got a Unicron. Unicorn. Unicron. Planet Transformer. The biggest Transformer there is, I think, in the in the Transformers universe. He's missing a whole ton of bits, but I paid five pounds for him. And I think even missing bits, I think he's worth a good. I think he's worth a good fifty pound. I'm not entirely sure. Definitely missing bits. He should have big sort of tentacle type things coming off him. And he should definitely have some sort of doors on the front of him there. And a projectile. But yeah, five pounds. Thought, if nothing else, Trainer Kenny will love that unicorn. 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 That's him. Is that it? Is that it? Are we done? No, that's not it. Last item of the day that we've got. I won't show you them all. I'll show you just an example of them. Two examples of them. Got a whole bag of marbles, Glass marbles, Glass marbles that are very, very old. Uh, and that's an understatement. Very, very old. But she's an old lady. I mean, look at her. She's old. You can't just take her stuff. She's too old. <laughs> It says on them, the chap told me that he'd had them in his lockup, I think, for, I think he said at least 50 years, but I think they're a good going on 70 year old. It actually says on them there, if we can get it to focus, made in the People's Republic of China. It comes from China. That's why. It comes from China. Now, the People's Republic of China, from researching, was disbanded and done away with, however you want to put it, uh, back in 1947 or 1949 is when the People's Republic of China ceased to exist and there's a whole bag of them i think i paid him 20 pounds and there's around 20 bags so a pound a piece the shame the real shame about this and the difficult part of this is that there's no famous brand if they were you know made by my or bandai or whoever else i don't I can't really think of marble brands off the top of my head. But if there was a brand attached to them, it'd be so easy to find and so easy to resell. The thing is, they still make glass marbles in the style of vintage ones. So finding comps on this will be nigh on impossible, like a needle in a haystack, quite literally. But I think what I'll do with them is put one single bag on to begin with on auction format and just see what they sell for. See what that single bag sells for and then that will help me gauge a price for buy it now on the rest of them. The plastic on the bags is really starting to fall apart. So much so that some fell apart just transporting them to the car. Especially when a Slipknot superfan Joshua decided to drop like three bags of them and they exploded all over the floor like cheers josh <laughs> they might have been worth 20 quid a piece josh you just dropped them on the floor after i told you to be careful with them and you didn't notice that there's a hole in the one bag you stupid idiot you owe me some money josh <laughs> Shout out Joshua, Slipknot super fan. Just get at him if, if you want a Slipknot gas mask, customised gas mask, because he's starting his own little cottage industry of making those. Doing quite well from it, actually. Doing quite well from it. But yeah, that is that, I think. That is just about everything for this week, for this vid. Got something in my teeth.
thank you once again for watching the videos guys i really do appreciate it very very much so much love going on all the love for you guys for the viewers so i'm actually looking to do some guest spots soon where i'll get resellers from other channels or just resellers in general that are interested in appearing in my videos and i'll get them along and i'll go to the same car boots that they go to and sort of team up for the day see what we can find share tips and hints share bolos share experiences best find experiences etc so yeah if you're interested in appearing in one of the videos and meeting up give me a shout obviously it'd help if you were in the yorkshire area somewhere within a, a decent radius from where i am don't want to commute too far uh, but yeah get in the comment section if you want to appear in one of the yorkshire pickers videos team up hashtag reseller community <laughs> peace guys i will see you on the next one if you've not subscribed yet make sure you do and stick around and watch another one of these videos if you like i bet they're uh I bet they're quite decent oh and drop a like as well peace